unlimited supply of coal and petrol. Yeah. Important, no? Otherwise, what will your children do and what will their children do? Right? So you need to conserve resources. What else? Sir was talking about money, no? The less energy use you use or industry uses or anybody uses, the less money they spend. Right? So there are a lot of such impacts. Okay? So the first is of course protect the environment. The lesser amount of fossil fuel that we use, the lesser amount of carbon dioxide that we generate. Okay? The next is you will reduce your electricity bill as an individual, as an industry. If you use less electricity, you will reduce your energy bill. Okay. Now, before I go on to the rest of the presentation, I want to make a point here. Energy efficiency is both from electricity as well as thermal. Okay, Thermal, that is direct usage of coal and other uh, uh, diesel, other fossil fuels. Okay, But I am not looking at the thermal part right now. I am only going to talk about the electricity part. Okay? Because you are all electrical guys. not looking at thermal. Okay, so, But remember that there is also thermal which is direct usage of fossil fuels as well as electricity which is a converted uh, form from uh, fossil fuels. Okay? So these are two. Then you also have uh, utility benefits. That is, so if you are uh, discom, so PSS, PTC. You know, you all look at electricity bills. Has anybody seen your electricity bill? Yes. Some of you have. Okay, good. So there you will see number of units yes. and what is your per unit rate, right? So the idea is how do you reduce this number of units? Okay. Now the advantage is if you reduce it, it is advantageous to the utility also. That is, to PSS, PTCL because they can reduce the infrastructure that they are building. Okay, which also has environmental impacts. Okay, so these are all interconnected. I cannot say one thing without talking about another. Okay, they are all interconnected. Okay, and finally energy security. So like I said, uh, fossil fuels are not a renewable resource. Okay, they have been formed over billions of years and we are exhausting them very quickly. So it is said that uh, there will be coal only for another 100 years, there will be petrol only for another 150 years and so on and so forth. So what happens after that, right? So we need to conserve resources as well. Now there are two other angles to it. One is India imports a lot of its coal. Okay? India imports a majority of its petroleum, a majority of its LPG. Okay? So the lesser you consume, the lesser India has to import. So India is not dependent on foreign countries. So you are all aware of the war in Ukraine right now, right? Russia, Ukraine, all of that. Now what that has happened is it has created a huge impact on global energy supply chains. Europe, for example, was getting a lot of gas from Ukraine on Russia and that is not coming through now. So they are all going through very tough times where they do not have enough energy to use. Okay, So if you are less dependent